Labara Mako, while describing as unfortunate the demonstration that trailed the planned impeachment of the state governor by the state house of assembly, said no matter the provocation, youth should not resort to violence. On the cultural day celebration, the minister used the platform to appeal to elders and youths in Egoland to strive and promote peace. We are people that have always believed that we should be among the best. It's because of the cultural attributes that has made us a struggling people, a people that will not leave no stone unturned to achieve excellence. He noted that the planned Egon House project will emerge as a fulcrum for the advancement of the Egon nation, hence the need for them to support the president's ambition in 2015. Earlier at the foundation stone laying ceremony for the Egon House project, the chief of staff to President Goodluck Jonathan, General Jones Arogbofa, called on the Egon nation to unite for the purpose of peace. You all are Nigerians like me, and you have no other place to go. We have to make our ground comfortable, livable. Senator Solomon Ewuga on his part, equally sued for peace. Member, PDP Board of Trustees, Christy Silas, said minority groups in the Middle Belt must work in unity to emancipate their people. General Theophilus Njuma, who was represented by the Secretary, Middle Belt Forum, John Dara, harped on the need for peace. President Ego Cultural Development Association, Chris Maman, said the 750 million naira project will house a museum, a conference center, among others. Anthony Forson, NTA News.